This is the second part of building EAR Bot. Because LEGO have made the education in home sets different, this will only apply to the home set. Do the previous tutorial if you've got the education set. Now we want to attach the front beams to those two black connectors there. We put those black connectors into the second and the fourth holes of this black beam. It's a bit fiddly to fit in but it goes in OK. We do the same on the other side. Again we use the second and the fourth holes You can check there should be a one hole overlap at the end of the beam and the same on the other side. This will allow space to put an ultrasonic sensor on the front if we want to at some later stage. Well, we want to now find two short black connectors and we'll start building the mounting for the real wheel. Put them in the outer two holes leaving the inner hole free. Find two more short black connectors and again put them on the outer two holes leaving the inner hole free. Now we've got some red two hole cross blocks weird looking things. Find those and put them on the black connectors with the cross towards the middle covering the blank hole. The same second one of these weird pieces put it again with the cross towards the middle of the robot. Find two short red cross axles if they're anything like mine they're right at the bottom of a pile because they're tiny push them into the red cross blocks on the back of Yaya. Yaya bot, yeah just right there. Uh, you may have to press them in to connect it. Find a red double cross block, two cross shaped holes and we'll fit that across those two short red axles. And that completes the back axle stand. Now we've got to assemble the bits that spin around. This Lego axle is four Lego holes long. It's an unusual, it's got a little uh, enlarged end. You'll notice a flat end, it's not the usual axle and so things won't slide off. Get the slide the red piece we've got there down the end and you'll notice that it jams up against the round end. Okay, we find another red connector. And we'll slide that as a spacer onto the grey axle piece. And we need a bit more of a spacer, so we'll pick up one of the yellow, the thin yellow connectors <coughs> and place that also on the grey axle. Now we want a mounting for the wheels themselves. Pick up a thin grey wheel and a Lego axle that is three Lego holes long. You can use a longer one if you want to, but three Lego holes is sufficient. Push the axle through the middle of the thin grey Lego hole it, so it protrudes only oh, two or three millimetres, sixteenth of an inch maybe put it through the circular hole that we've already built of the axle piece we've already built. It should look like this. And we'll place the other thin grey wheel on the other side. Now again press them in and that'll fit nicely. If the wheel doesn't rotate you've got that little 
bottom red angle piece the wrong way round. Okay, so you may have to remake it. But mostly it's okay. Now we get that axle piece, we turn Yaya Bot upside down, and it'll fit into the red hole at the back there. That's good. Now find a thin yellow connector and see if we can fit it to the top. If you've got big fingers, fingers like mine, this is a hassle. I was lucky, it came in fairly quickly. And that should spin around, and that looks good. That should work nicely. Yeah, all we've got to do now is connect the cables. We're making good progress. Find a short black cable, and uh, holding Yaya Bot as shown, carefully connect the cables into the left motor. Make sure they're the right way round with that little tag on top at the right place. Try and force them in the wrong way and you can damage the cable, so be careful and gentle with them. There should be a click as you push them home. That looks good. Find another short black cable, put that into the right hand motor. Remember we've got the screen upwards. And put it into the motor port labelled with the letter C. There, that looks good. Yeah, we're making very good progress. At this stage, all we have to do now is to connect in the cable to our colour sensor. Find another black cable. Now, we look at the other end, the end where the colour sensor is, and we'll put this cable in the slot marked 4. This is one of the sensor slots. It's not a motor slot. All the ones on this end are for sensors. We can fit that into 4. It's a bit of a fiddle. And then to be neat and tidy, we can loop the cable behind the back beam and then loop it up and so it goes in the top of the colour sensor. Looping it around like this means that it won't drag on the floor when we're trying to run Yaya Bot around a line following. Oh well, that looks good. The whole build looks marvellous. So, that completes our building of Yaya Bot. Um, let's go on to the next tutorial and see if we can find out something probably about following the edge of a line.